uh, R. I. Eli, who read the series Sweet, talk with Lawrence, who is reading the series for the first time, has no prior experience, and is reading 10 chapters a day. And we're going to talk about it a little, break it down a little, summarize a little. Uh, Lawrence, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, you know, I'm excited to continue my bleach adventures you know first time first times hopefully the charm we'll see okay mm -hmm. well where we last uh left off yesterday right about in the middle of the memories in the rain uh story where ichigo has uh a confrontation with the hollow responsible for his mother's death uh, I guess to start things off, my first question is, uh, what did you think of the cliffhanger from yesterday about Grand Fisher being neither? Yeah, it was interesting. Like, uh, you, you know, um, I was definitely curious just to see, like, what it would turn out to be. I mean, I guess the answer is he was a hollow, but he just doesn't claim that. I, yeah, I, I never really liked uh, how it's, I guess, translated there or how it's worded. And then it just sort of ends on a cliffhanger in that chapter. So it's some big thing and it's just kind of, it's misleading pretty much. Yeah. I, I never liked that part. Yeah, I was yeah definitely very confusing because it's because I was, as I, as I said, like when I started this, the next chapter, I was like, oh, he's just a hollow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what were your thoughts on Grand Fisher overall since you read into chapter 30 and uh, Tears in the Rain, I think, ends in 25 or Memories in the Rain? Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed like definitely uh, a setup for him be becoming a, a bigger character in an arc to come, maybe even the next arc. Uh, that's what it seemed like, the next big arc, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, yeah, in, in terms of like the, the story, you know, it was interesting to see like the, the, the Ichigo Rukia, uh, like dynamics of that relationship, how it's going, how she allows, mm -hmm. how she, uh, doesn't like try to help him because, it, you know, she decides like there's fights that are like for honor and fights that are like, like, to, I, I forgot what the other one was, what the other to option protect was. your pride, to protect your, to pe protect your pride. And for honor and so she decided like uh since he doesn't want my help like i'm not going to do it because even if he wins it wouldn't be a, a, a he would kind of hate me for for helping out uh so i liked how you know their dynamic was explored and then khan was also there to um to uh you know trying to like ins like inspire rukia to like go help go help ichigo like he was kind of like the more of the um uh more of the like he has the more empathetic more like kind of like emotional figure there too mm -hmm. so it's interesting to see how like i feel like that dynamic's only gonna grow between those three characters so yeah i like that see the early beginnings of that and then um like the other the only other like thoughts i have is it, again i think i mentioned this last time is uh the um family dynamics within the like the ichigo uh, clan, you know, with his dad uh, having that emotional convo in front of the his mo the mom's grave about uh, about um like you, you know that he because Ichigo is like why don't you hold this against me is kind of like partly my fault why she died and you know they yeah. have a convo about that so I thought that was pretty deep stuff going on and then yeah interesting to see Karen continue her um, journey into you know seeing these spirits and. I think that it further continues into the the arc, the whatever the story after this too. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I think Ishin does get to look actually pretty cool when he is smoking the cigarette, like he mentions mm -hmm. off in the uh, in the actual comic itself. I I wouldn't be surprised if the character was designed to be uh, smoking a cigarette and then it was something that was abandoned early on. And yeah, uh, he found a way to reincorporate it here. Right. Um, yeah, so I guess, uh, Grand Fisher, yay, nay, do you like him? Uh, I, I say a yay. I mean, um, yeah, I, I yeah, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm more leaning towards yay. Like it, like, you know, it wasn't like the greatest thing I've ever seen. You know, mm -hmm. I wasn't like blown, blown away by it, but you know, it, it, it definitely again, but this time it was like, good. like I said earlier, I like this, I feel like this part of the arc. Um, a story was kind of like set up, but like in a good way in terms mm. of what the, what like the, how bad hollows can be and like what their powers are, power levels are and like what 
they are at the the highest levels. So mm -hmm. for, in that regard, I think it, it was positive. Like this was like definitely still feels somewhat like setup, but good setup because it really ties into the background of the character of Ichigo, and it seems like it's uh, telling of things to come in a in a major way. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess where you finished uh, volume three here, did you go back to the, uh, the poem for volume three at the end? Yeah. I mean, uh, can you read it? I can't remember exactly what it said, but um, I thought it was, I think I remember at the time when I read it. I was like, if I were rain that joined sky and earth that ne otherwise never touched, could I join two hearts as well? Oh, that, okay. You're talking about that. I was thinking that you're yeah. talking about the poem that was about to happen. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I definitely see how that kind of relates because you know, it's uh it's like yeah because it ultimately is about like the carts like the the connections of the family mm -hmm. and yeah so it definitely all like comes together after you complete that whole the whole storyline right and so that pretty much wraps up volume three which ends with uh uh grand fisher retreating and having something different to him a little more humanoid body mm-hmm uh, let's move on to chapter four then. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't freeze up like yesterday when I tried to do this. Okay, so far so good. Let me bring up volume four, Quincy Archer Hates You onto the screen. There it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, we start volume four and we get introduced to the latest craze, Don Kananji. Mm hmm what did you think of the dawn the dawn i mean though like don't there wasn't there like a chapter before that where khan has like a, his own special kind of thing where he's like trying to find um his oh like, new... yeah he khan runs away from home yeah you know, no, i mean yeah, did you like yeah cool. just give me whatever your thoughts were on that I oh it was cute there. it was cute i don't know like i, I was like, it was fun like it seemed like it's more further set up as to like what his dynamic within the the show or manga is going to be so okay Okay. Again, so, uh, yeah. Don Kananji. <laughs> fan favorite. Yeah. Huh? He's a fan favorite? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah, I mean, it seemed like he, he's, like, setting up his, like, you know, the, the cheesy TV spiritualist, uh, you know, his tagline, smells like mean spirit. I was like, oh, that's that's a fun riff. <laughs> um, you can see why the teens love him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he was, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see like, cause, you know, cause he could actually see the spirit. So that was interesting that he does have that. And he could see Ichigo as a, um, as a Shinigami. So he definitely has like the, the, the powers of like what, of, you know, of what, like, you know, on the level, like what Ichigo and somewhat Karen has in terms of like being able to see these things. But I'm curious to see if, if he has any connection to the soul society at all or if he's just like a quack kind of on his own that's just like making money off of this stuff and they don't really pay pay him any mind because they're like and take him seriously at all you know so i'm yeah i'm definitely curious to see how he plays into the overall uh span of things yeah uh so we end well your reading for today ended with uh ichigo uh trying to jump into the fracas as or Ahara wonders to himself what Ichigo is going to do. Any any thoughts? Any predictions there? Yeah, I mean, in terms of that, uh, like the yeah, where it, specifically where it ended for me, it was mm -hmm. um, it was he already he he'd broken into the fracas, and then uh, because you know he was stabbing the 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 chest uh, that hole into the chest of the of the spirit, which would quicken his hollow um, ge generation time. And uh, he, and he ultimately Ichigo was ultimately too late, so the uh, the hollow did appear, and then they were both trying to fight the hollow at the same time, but Ichigo is like, stay out of this, uh, Kananji. You're 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 you like you. This is above your pay grade. You're, this is mm -hmm. not your level. And Kananji was like, don't doubt me. I'm like the great spiritualist. Blah blah blah. And then it seemed like like Kasuke was like looking on, like knowingly, like he knows there's like some other, like thing at work here as well so i was wondering to see like what how he plays into this situation and why he was there to yeah. for this whole thing well uh what did you think of the poem for volume four uh you want to read it real quick 
We are drawn to each other like drops of water, like the planets. We repulsed each other like madness, like the colors of our skin. Uh, I mean, I'd say the last one was probably better, but this one, it was okay. Like, I, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I've never really been a big fan of the poem for this one. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't really see yeah. the, um, the relevancy here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the only other stuff well, that there's, I found... there's still more in the volume, but okay, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. Like, the only uh, other stuff I found kind of interesting here was they like talked further about like the how the hollows operate like there's a chain of fate that anchors them to the regrets of the world and then mm -hmm. they this, then they broke it down in two categories it was a suki that involves like a person a, like a a, a a regret involving a person and then jabuki was a re regret involving a place and in this case it was a jabuki because he was the spirit was like mad that his father willed the hospital to his brother rather than mm -hmm. him because he wanted to like make a ton of money so it was interesting to see like kind of how they divide how the the um you know how the hollows have different different types and then um also the other fact that part i found interesting was that uh karen was like somewhat able to see a blur of like the of ichigo in shinigami form mm -hmm. and previously and i maybe a couple chapters earlier he was like wondering if karen would be able to see him yeah. in that form as well so uh and it seems like she's only growing further in um her abilities and in this chapter, we also get uh, some of Ichigo's friends, like Keigo and... Uh, That's what I was about to say, too, yeah. Yeah, being able to hear at least the cries. Yeah, so I'm wondering if it's they just have that connection, or is it that they've been in a lot of contacts with spirits, high-level spirits recently, due to, like, the Ichigo's new Shinigami uh, mm. uh, abilities and the fact that he's kind of been a attracting, like, all of these, like, hollows and stuff into the into their area so you know especially chad with his whole situation so i'm wondering whether like your increased contact with these spirits leads you to you know be further um like further inclined to like you know experience these like supernatural things uh i guess my last question is did you notice the uh the new character we briefly met in one panel or two in uh, chapter 29 where would that have been? Uh, there's a hand that gets put on the rail, and then they hesitate after they notice that Ichigo has jumped over. I did not notice that. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's a new character. Oh, okay. So for some, we get to see them in the manga proper. Is this a, is the character a new character on the cover of Volume Four right now? Yeah, that, that's yeah. what I figured. Okay. <laughs> uh so I'm assuming that means he might be another Shinigami, right? If he's like was about to put his hand you, in the pole. Huh? You'll find out. It's in volume yeah. four. Okay. Uh, you, you'll cover it tomorrow. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, definitely uh, good, good setup. And we'll see how it uh, follows through with these next 10 chapters. Yeah. I feel like uh, from here on out, the, the next two to three days you'll have a, uh, have pretty nicely defined little closed loops within the gotcha. 10 chapters that you cover. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Exciting times. Anything you want to wrap up with? Uh, I mean, not to, not particularly. I mean, I guess all I have to say is, yeah, I thought the, the um, whole, with uh, the initial, like the, the arc that we kind of like were splitting between this week and uh, yesterday and today, uh, that was like, yeah, definitely good, good emotional depth there. As I said, good, uh, actually like good setup for like what's to come. And then, uh, you know, these last few chapters, they, they, they were like kind of fun, you know, they had like Ichigo's friends teasing him, like using the, um, doing the whole Kananji, um, Kananji, like his poses and stuff. Like, yeah. like yeah, it was funny. Like after he left, uh, the friend that's like, uh, I forgot his name. The one that's like kind of a, um, a lover boy. That mm -hmm. one, he was kind of like, stop doing it. Ichigo is not around. It's not funny anymore. Like, <laughs> like it was only fun because Ichigo hates him so much. So, you know, so yeah, they're you're learning like some fun stuff about the dynamics. It's, and Chad doing the whole pose thing. I didn't expect that, but that was kind of mm -hmm. fun. Um, so yeah, definitely you know, some fun, m more fun stuff going on. And uh, yeah, d expanding the world, you know, with this Kananji element and the, uh, you know, Kasuke coming back in for uh, being more of a, figure but yeah, yeah so yeah good stuff going forward it seems like all right 
Well, we make sure to uh, follow us on Twitch at IMF Streams to be able to watch these live as we record them. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for uh, day four. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Mm-hmm.